Turkish Delight. Just not given the love it deserves. It's so fucking good. Sorry. Hey there, friends. Welcome to the 251st episode of It'll Be Fine. I'm your friend and your pal, Kelly Zanikas. And uh, as we do each week on this show, along with my guest, we pick a recipe that neither of us has ever made before, but we go forward with the confidence that it's going to be fine. I'm still drooling over the Turkish delight. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, on today's show, we are making key lime bars. We're taking the key lime pie and we're taking bars and we're putting them together to make key lime bars. This is going to be good. And our dish today is vegan. So vegan friends, come on into the kitchen. We've got a bake that we can all share together. And uh, today I'm getting to bake alongside the multi-talented. She's a musician, she's a comedian, and she does everything. She's a foodie, she had her own cooking show too. Um, and she does everything with wit and whimsy and style to boot. My <laughs> Someone's going to make fun of the way I just said boot. I know it. Rebecca McDonald is on the show today. I'm so glad she is coming up into the kitchen. We're going to hang out. We're going to make stuff. Maybe make a song or two as well. Come on in. It's going to be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yay, dancing! Yay! <laughs> well, cheers, friend. You're cheers. here. This is this is awesome. Welcome to the house. Welcome to the kitchen. Yeah. How's your day been? It's good. I am super schizophrenic, and I got my meds today, so don't fucking worry anymore. Nice. Uh, Are you a big baker at home, or are you more cook? I'm a chef. I'm a okay. chef. I'm a um, there we go. Yeah, I, this I think this is the first baking I've done since the pandemic started. Amazing! Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, are you like me? Did you not bake a sourdough? Oh, because I did not do that. I've done I've done three things. Well, I've not done three things that everybody else did. No sourdough. I have never seen. I almost said Joe versus the volcano. Tiger King. Oh, Tiger King. Oh my. I don't say Joe versus the volcano. <laughs> um, and uh, I do not own an air fryer. Oh. Okay. Boom. All not right, done. All right. So I did watch Tiger King. My okay. boyfriend got into cooking bread. Okay. 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 And then my uncle gave me an air fryer. <laughs> uh, we are baking. We're doing a bit of like, I still think you can call this a no bake bake, even though we use the oven for a hot second. Yeah. Uh, we are making key lime pie bars. Yes. And they're vegan. Vegan. Yay. Yes. Because Rebecca casually mentioned at the 11th hour she was lactose intolerant. Yeah. <laughs> and the last recipe had a lot of cream cheese. Yeah. I don't want to send any of my guests home, like, in pain. You should not leave doing any I meals. forgot that I don't, like, you can't do milk. I forgot. <laughs> well, okay. That's okay. I was, okay, I was doing a show recently, okay, and yeah. um, we got, my boyfriend and I got there early, and yeah. we had, like, a little lunch, and, uh, there was this little pot of like sauce. Okay. And it was like this ranch sort of garlic sauce, right? Okay. And I'm dipping the fries in it, dipping the fries in it, dipping the fries in it. Show starts, I'm about to go up, and it's it was a it was a musical co competition show. So oh, the way no. it worked is everyone there's three rounds, everyone did a song for the first round, everyone did a song for the second round, third round, right? Mm-hmm. And so I'm about to go up and I, I, I just all of a sudden like, uh oh. So I run for those and like, oh no. Can you please put Ryan up before me? I have to go to the washroom now. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah. We've all had this <laughs> set that's sponsored by Pepto. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this can be done two ways. We're doing a graham cracker base mm -hmm. for our for our uh, key lime pie. Key lime pie butters. Um, now in the recipe link, which if you go into the YouTube show description, you'll see a little link. You can play along with us. It will say vegan graham crackers. We've we've not done that. <laughs> There's animal fat in these. <laughs> you can do two things. Buy a box of already crumbed graham crackers or get your packs, get two hands, and get mad at someone. Ooh. <laughs> 
This is one of the best parts of cooking. When you have to do things. Oh no, I lost a piece. I get more angry. <laughs> oh god, <they're, laughs> did you see that? There's two pieces on the floor now. Three. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, they're right. not going in the dish. They are staying on the floor. I wonder if this is how women like turn butter. <laughs> <laughs> they get like super angry back in the day. Oh my god, probably. How? <laughs> <laughs> Just bitching off the house. <laughs> like... That would be a great sketch. <laughs> yeah. You know how you have water cooler talk? <laughs> butter churn talk. <laughs> so we're going to take that lovely butter. Big in. We're using Am I just earth dump it in? Dump it. Oh my god, I'm gonna dump it good. Yay! Ooh, it's sticky. It's beauty. Beautiful. That's and then we've got our brown sugar right here. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Yes, uh, go Get it all in. Getting all the butter in there. All right. Okay. Uh, add in that brown sugar. Oh Dump my that goodness. in too. Oh, yeah. Whoop. We got a little spoon there. You can use one from the butter if you wish. Just mix it all together. Oh, my goodness. And this is going to be the base of our key lime pie <laughs> bar. And then we're going to take these guys, and you're just going to pat it down into the bottom to give you that crust for the bar. Um, if you wanted to do this as a pie and say, fuck it, I'm making a pie, then put this in a pie plate, <laughs> yes. and that works too. Yes, round, we're going square, but you could do brown. Exactly. You could do triangle if you're really feeling creative. You could do a face. You could do a face. Oh, yes. All right. The oven just went off. We're going to oh. go in, and Rebecca's going to zest. I'm going to zest. Zest your life. All right. It smells like a holiday. It does. It, it really like does. Lemon zest just, or lime zest, actually, is what we're yeah. doing. Citrus zest is just something else. So good. All that, yeah, so then, right. this one? Yeah. Yeah, so, nope, okay, then, okay, it's like, okay. Yeah, so then you just get a fork in there, you just kind of. No shit! Yeah. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, well, that's okay. a good tip. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, so doing this filling on the stovetop, we're needing the lime juice, the lime zest, salt, coconut milk, cornstarch is going to come in a sec, uh, and that other batch of sugar. Um, <laughs> you can go with granulated or as we're doing uh, coconut, which will be just as good. Friends, for this, we've got the lime juice once again. We've got the coconut milk from the can mm -hmm. do not go to the shelf where you see the oat beverage and all that stuff That's actually right. and don't try to milk your own coconuts have, have you ever do not have teeth <laughs> <laughs> and that <laughs> uh we've got our coconut sugar our lime zest our salt and that is not powdered sugar that is cornstarch friends so that's going to come <laughs> in last so let's get to this rebecca are you ready I'm ready. You're going to do it. You're going to kick it. All right. All right. So, in the bowl, we are going to take the coconut milk. Ooh. That's a good hearty amount there. Yeah. Um, and the lime juice. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Let's sure, get sure, that sure. mixed together, and we'll just get that burner on. Okay. Uh, boom. Yeah. Should I put it on, what, medium? Let's do medium high. Yeah, yeah I think that's good. So, yeah. And we'll just start whisking. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah, it's a good little taste. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to add in this huge amount of cocaine. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, cornstarch. <laughs> corn there is a notation uh, in the recipe that it's going to look kind of soupy, which we're definitely noticing right now. Um, but on the stove top, it's going to get a bit thicker. It just started thickening right now. Oh, that's, oh, that's great. That cornstarch is doing its job. Perfect. Okay, it's on low, so okay, we don't have so to We'll start for a couple more minutes, yeah. or a minute or so, and then... Um, we're gonna take this off. We're gonna pour it into here. Oh yeah, that is nice. Pour this evenly. Mm. Oh man, that looks so good. Doesn't this look delish? <laughs> oh nice. nice. Nice, okay, hit the other guy. All right. There we go. Once again, I would likely just take a spoon and put it <laughs> on here. I just feel like Eat I'm it busy. like ice cream. Not going to a show. <laughs> oh, this would be a great ice cream. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I've never made ice cream. Me neither. I gotta do that one day. All right, let's pour the rest here. This is looking beauty. It is. So nice. So we're going to leave this be for about 15 minutes. Once the steam has stopped rising, <laughs> uh, then we'll get it into the fridge to cool. 
I'm officially um, in my 30s. I now enjoy dark chocolate. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's the threshold no one tells you about. <laughs> oh, God. What? This is yummy? Oh, my God, yeah. I, I, it we is had, yummy. We had some in our little snack bar, and I was like, well, I really need I want chocolate right now, uh, I guess. And I took a bite, and I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Totally. I think there are two markers of adulthood, mm -hmm. uh, dark chocolate, <laughs> and you're not giving a shit about how much the cheese costs. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, this recipe also calls for a vegan whipped cream. Oh. Uh, I couldn't find that in a can already, uh -huh. but I have almond milk Ooh. and a KitchenAid, so oh we'll make our own. Are we going to try to whip? We're going to make our own. Oh, God. It's the best. <laughs> oh, my God. You've, You've never done it? No. Oh my god! What happens when your camera shorts out? <laughs> we are lofa. Our camera went on vacay. All right, <laughs> so we're gonna make our own whipped yes. topping uh, because even though I have whipped cream in the fridge, I'm like, <laughs> I know you're rebellious, but I'm like, no, <laughs> must be vegan. All right, so we are going to need uh, a tablespoon of powdered sugar. If at home, as I've said many times on the show, if you don't have powdered sugar but you have a coffee grinder and granulated sugar. Oh. Put that granulated in your coffee grinder, oh. you get powdered sugar. I did not know that. Do you also no. know powdered sugar has like 17 different names? Powdered sugar? It's not got 17, but uh, it's called uh, also icing sugar, okay. caster sugar, oh. or confectioner sugar. Confection. Oh it's my all God. the same thing. I've heard all those before, but I'm like, oh, I'm not touching that. I don't know what that is. It's the same thing. <laughs> uh, we need a little dollop a vanilla, a teaspoon we will do, and if you want to go to the fridge and find... I bought cream! Yay! Oh, Dairy-free cream. We're going to be fine. We need a cup. Uh, let us do, if you want to get me into the bowl here, if you want to put a tablespoon of powdered, as I like to call it, Puff Daddy sugar. So many names. <laughs> um, this is our... This is half a cup of cream. It's getting a little thicker. It's good, Do you feel confident? <laughs> my chef instincts want me to get in there with my own whisk and just kind of <laughs> help it out. <laughs> it's looking good. Look. It's, it's puffing. It's it's puffing. puffing. Is, we did it. That was the thing. My God. You made whipped cream. That's amazing. You can do anything now, Rebecca. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's been 15 minutes. Doesn't this look like fudge, Rebecca? <laughs> Like, like maple fudge. It looks like maple fudge. Yeah. But we're going to put these, as we say, into our freezer right here. We got some room. Oh. Key yeah. <laughs> so the recipe calls for refrigeration for four hours. We are going to freeze this for 90 I I minutes. There's space in there, actually. Oh, there's a bottom one. Oh, yeah. There, there we go. go. Nice. Above the cauliflower bites. <laughs> Yay. Every time he's spatula. Yay! Oh, oh, he's so cute. I don't know. I don't know what's a he, but it is. <laughs> Alright. Oh, dude. Oh! Dude. Oh, it's set. Look at dude, that. Dude, it's set! Yee. It's set! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's euphoria! Awesome. This is a moment of euphoria. Oh, Alright. This is fabulous. Yes. Okay. Oh my god. I feel so accomplished right now. Alright. We're gonna get some of our beautiful Oh yeah. Whip. Onto here. Just do a little, little dull whip of the whip. The taste test. Taste test. So bon appetit. Cheers. Mm. There we go. Our vegan key lime pie tart bar. <laughs> hmm. That's really good. Oh, really good. I wouldn't guess this is vegan. I like this a lot. It's really good. Oh my gosh. It is so refreshing. Mm hmm And we use coconut sugar, so maybe we're not getting that super big kick, but it's just sweet enough with the lime. Mm -hmm. It's just awesome. Yeah, that lime really ties everything together. And the graham crust is delicious. It is. <laughs> the only part that's sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It is so good. Yeah, there's a little bit of butter in the cookie. So we're not full vegan, but we're pretty mm -hmm. we're pretty damn close. But this is a super refreshing, tropical, <laughs> delightful dessert, which would go really good with a mimosa. 
Yeah. I get like beast vibes from it. Oh. Completely. <laughs> I just, I'm good to, you know how earlier I said I'd just take a spoon to the graham crust? And eat that. <laughs> I will just take this whole pan and be like, see yourself out, Rebecca. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. would be the name of a folk rock band Ooh. that were all vegan. <laughs> oh, that's like, that's like yeah, so hipster, so ironic, just like <laughs> life <laughs> irony. <laughs>